Hi, in this video I'd like to show you how to fix up a TFT monitor with no function at all, just with a black screen. Lots of these monitors get these issues after some years of usage. They show a black picture or you can't turn them on anymore or the picture is flickering. So one solution can be the replacement of the capacitors. So first of all we disassemble the monitor case. Uh, first step is to remove the stand here. So I already removed the screws and take away the back case. And here we have the electronics. This board here is the power supply and here underneath the cage is the signal converter. On the signal converter board here you see a lot of capacitors. They are pretty small and they are actually in a good shape. And uh, if you take a look here on the power supply you see bigger capacitors and these are most times capacitors uh, which cause a problem. So here I have two capacitors. Uh, the left one is a used one and the right one is brand new. And as you see here on the top of the left one it's a little bit bolded and this is a sign that uh, shows you that it is used. So this, you cannot, can't use it anymore. So maybe defective, but uh, this should be replaced. And here we see the values of these capacitors. It's 16 volts and 2200 microfarads. And this is a bigger one. Uh, it's working at 16 volts too, uh, but has a capacity of 4700 microfarads. So you could exchange this little one with this bigger one. Well, the only problem is here that uh, the bigger one, what you can use too, uh, needs more space, physically. So try to use uh, the same capacitors with the same values to make sure it fits onto your uh, printed circuit board. So, but if you have enough space on your circuit board or in your case, you can use a bigger one too. So it's more reliable and safer to have a bigger one. If you take a look here on uh, the big capacitor, you see it's uh, 85 degrees Celsius and uh, here the little one says 105 degrees. So um, this little one can stand much more heat than the bigger one. So if you have heat problems with your machine, your TFT monitor or whatever, you should take a capacitor with 105 degrees Celsius printed on it. Here on this power supply I already replaced here all these capacitors and marked them with a, with a red spot to uh, make sure that I replace all and uh, none of them twice. And uh, they were all bolded and uh, maybe had leakage or so and the power supply was not reliable anymore. Now it should be. This small circuit board here has lots of capacitors too, uh, but I didn't change any of them. They look all reliable, they are, look pretty good, and uh, we'll see if it works. So I reassembled all this stuff here and uh, attached the signal and the power, and let's see if it works. So here it is, power cord signal monitor. I turn on the power and here we see it turns green. So I turn on the computer. Let's see what's happening here and here it is. Back again the picture.
So what we see here is our monitor again and uh, pictures here it's bright and clear. So our fix did work. Just replace the capacitors on the power supply board and it's brand new. So one thing you should take a look at is here that little panel. You should take care that it is attached if you want to test your monitor because sometimes if it's not attached the monitor doesn't turn on at all. Well, now we have a working 24 inch monitor again and uh, the only thing we did is that we replaced these capacitors here and uh, that costs us maybe four or five dollars.